A new project is shedding light on Ras al-Khaimah's rich history. 4,000-year-old bones from the Emirates Shamal area are being studied comprehensively for the first time. It is a major project from Ras al-Khaimah's Department of Antiquities and Museums, as well as two US universities, whose professors and students visited the Emirate to carry out research. The project will tell us more about the people who lived and thrived in Ras al-Khaimah thousands of years ago. The teeth tell stories. The bones tell stories. You can um, see how old people were. You can make statistics about um, the population. These people were settled people. There were no Bedouins. They lived here. They lived here for generations, for hundreds of years, because they were living next to their palm garden with their water. And you don't leave a place like this because it's heaven. These are small fragmented bones, and this is more typical. They're um, holding a piece of a cranium. Um, which you're looking at, but we have very, very few of such large um, pieces of craniums. Most of the rest is fragments. Ras al-Khaimah has one of the richest histories, archaeological histories, in the United Arab Emirates. His Highness Sheikh Saud was very important um, for this project because he actually allowed us to transport these bones out of the uh, Ras al-Khaimah and out of the United Arab Emirates for the study because he himself thought that it's very important to get this bone studied and to learn more about the people 4,200, 4,300 years ago. And he was so interested, he invited the whole group with the students uh, into the palace. 